In this lesson, we're going to cover Unit 6, Acquisition 2, on molarity calculations. So first, we have to give a definition for molarity. And when we're representing molarity, we're going to use a capital M. Molarity, think of it as a synonym for concentration. Molarity expresses the concentration of a solution as the number of moles of solute in a liter of solution. So that definition gives us our equation. Molarity is represented as the moles of solute per liters of solution. One important thing to note is that word liters. Value must be in liters. A liter is pretty big though. Um, if we were in the lab, most of our measurements would be in milliliters. So you might have to do a conversion between the two in which one liter is equal to 1,000 milliliters. There are 1,000 milliliters in one liter. Let's start with as easy as it could possibly get. What is the molarity of a 5 liter solution containing 2 moles of glucose? All right, we want to solve for molarity. Molarity is equal to moles per liter. I have two moles of solute per five liters of solution. Two divided by five gives me 0.4. Significant figures come into play. Each of these quantities have one significant figure, so my answer has one significant figure. Let's talk about units. You could either write your answer as 0.4 moles per liter, or more commonly, you're going to see 0.4 with a capital M, and this would read molar. So this is a 0.4 molar solution. All right, we'll do one more easy one and then we'll kick it up a notch. Calculate the number of moles of sodium chloride in 370 milliliters of a 2.5 molar solution. So remember, very, very important, your volume must be in liters. In this case, we were given milliliters. 
So we can set this up like a conversion that we did in stoichiometry. I am given 370 milliliters. We want our units to cancel. So that means milliliters will go in the denominator. And here's my conversion factor. There are 1,000 milliliters in every one liter. So in order to convert from milliliters to liters, we divide by 1,000. In order to keep my significant figures accurate, I'm going to keep two of them. No decimal, so we assume two significant figures, so 0.37 liters. Molarity is equal to moles divided by liters. I have a 2.5 molar solution. I have 0.37 liters. And now we can solve for moles. Make sure you can get 0.925. Looking at both givens, I have two significant figures, so I'm going to round this to 0.93. Let's talk about what happens with our units. Remember, molarity is moles divided by liters. So if I have 2.5 moles divided by liters and I'm multiplying it by 0.37 liters. Notice that liters are going to cancel out and we're left with moles. Which is what we're solving. So final answer 0 0.93 moles. I just wanted to show you how we get to those units. So one tip that I want to give you, when we're doing these types of conversions, we call it dimensional analysis. So I'm going to give you a tip that I use for these calculations. What I like to do, well, when we're doing these um, first, you're going to notice that you're going to have two givens in the problem. Always start with either mass or volume. And then the way that I like to use um, molarity is use it as a conversion factor. So there's just one tiny thing you need to know in order to use it as a conversion factor. Let's say I had 1.5 molar hydrochloric acid, and we want to convert this to a conversion factor that we can plug in to dimensional analysis. All that molarity is is moles per liter. So if I have a 1.5 molar solution, it means I have 1.5 moles in every one liter of solution. This now is something that I can plug in as a conversion factor. Same thing, let's say I had like a 3 molar solution of sodium hydroxide. Molarity is moles per liter. If I have a 3 molar solution, that means I have 3 moles per every 1 liter.
So now let's do some problems like this. How many grams of sodium chloride are needed to make 0.43 liters of a 2.7 molar solution. So this problem is going to be um, a little bit more involved than the past ones because now I see grams. So let's look at the problem. Notice that we have two givens, 0 0.43 liters, and we have a 2.7 molar solution. Always start with either mass or volume, depending on what you're given. In this case, I have a volume. I'm going to start with 0 0.43 liters. Next, use molarity as a conversion factor. If I have a 2.7 molar solution, that means I have 2.7 moles per every one liter. I want liters to go in the denominator so they cancel out. For every one liter of solution, I have 2.7 moles of solute. Liters divided by liters cancel. So if I were to stop and solve, that would tell me how many moles I have. I need to know how many grams of sodium chloride I have. So think back to unit six, if I'm at moles and I'm solving for grams, what's my next conversion factor? Hopefully we remember that it's molar mass. So I can grab my periodic table. Sodium has a molar mass of 22.99. Chlorine has a molar mass of 35.45, so my molar mass would be 58.44 grams per mole. Again, just like last unit, always setting up our units so they cancel. So now we can solve, multiply across the top, 0.43. Times 2.7 times 58.44. And then just like last unit, significant figures in units always. We always need significant figures and units. You have two givens. Look at both of them. The least number of significant figures determines the number of sig figs in your answer. 0.43 has two sig figs, 2.7 has two sig figs, my answer will have two sig figs, and then I need a unit. Let's try another one. How many milliliters of solution can be made from, say how many milliliters of a 1.5 molar solution? Let's give you molarity. 
how many milliliters of a 1.5 molar solution can be made from 45 grams of sodium hydroxide. So I have 45 grams of solute. I want to make a 1.5 molar solution. How much solution can we make based on our materials? So again, we have two givens. I have a molarity and I have a mass. Always start with either mass or volume. So let's start with 45 grams. Think about our conversion factors. If you're starting with grams, the only thing you can do is plug in molar mass to get to moles. 40 grams per every one mole. Converting from moles to liters, I could use molarity. Again, a 1.5 molar solution is equal to 1.5 moles of solute per every one liter of solution. Make sure when we are putting this in to our calculations, we always set it up so our units cancel. I want moles to be in the denominator. 1.5 moles per every one liter of solution. Lastly, make sure you pay attention to your units. We need to record our final answer in milliliters. There are 1,000 milliliters in every one liter. Moles divided by moles, they cancel. In order to get liters to cancel, liter goes in the denominator and will be left with milliliters. Multiply everything across the top. 45 times 1 times 1 times 1,000 divided by everything on the bottom, 40 times 1.5 times 1 gets 750 even. Lastly, think about significant figures. 1.5 has two significant figures, 45 has two significant figures, my answer has two significant figures. This trailing zero is not significant unless we were to add a decimal. And then lastly, we need to bring down our units. We would be able to make 750 milliliters of a 1.5 molar solution if we use 45 grams of sodium hydroxide.